<laughs> so, right, uh, let's go into the next topic of the agenda, the main topic, mm. Shang-Chi. Ooh. Yes, Ooh. the second movie yeah. from the fourth oh, phase of the MCU, starring, what was it? Oh, what's his name? I can't pronounce his name. I don't Simu know his name. Yu, I think he's a, uh, the main actor, Shang-Chi. Yeah. Uh, I don't know uh, his name. All right, so we're going we're gonna to break this down to two sections, right? So this section is going to be no spoilers. <laughs> we, we'll try our damnedest to not spoil anything. And then I I'll get to a point where we've talked about spoiled, everything yeah. and then we'll just go into a spoiler territory and then we'll just put some sort of a time or timestamp, bell, yeah. or whatever we will do, just to kind of break them apart. Good so plan. let's start with the uh, spoiler-free version. Yeah, they true. start off with Shang Chi's like this kind of seems like a normal guy, but there's more to him than one meets mm. the eye. You know? Yeah, so, I think they. See, I wasn't really know what to expect to be honest. Like, I I didn't go into the cinema thinking this is going to be a great movie. I was just like, it's a Marvel movie. I'm kind of starved of Marvel movies. I'm going to watch this movie. Very zero expectations. I, I had no idea what to expect, but I wanted to watch this movie. After watching the trailer, I was kind of like. I want to watch this movie. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I was kind of thinking it would be like this big Kung Fu thing, really. And I was like, I want to see how Marvel handles the Kung Fu. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised, to be honest. Like, from beginning to end, but not for the reasons that I went in for. Like, I went in yeah. thinking it would be one way. And it wasn't. But it was, it was still really good. Like, in fact, maybe it was better than what I thought. Mm -hmm. um, and I love the fact that because I was saying, like, towards the middle, end, middle of the movie, or end of the movie, where I turned to one of you guys, and I was like, this is their Black Panther. <laughs> like, you know, it's like the Asian, well, not Asian community, but uh, I have no right to know Chinese, Chinese. yeah. The Chin I don't want to just say Chinese, like, because, like, it almost feels like I'm pitching holding to just Chinese people, mm. but yeah. maybe I just say Chinese, whatever, because that's the language they're speaking anyway. Ironically, so, it's not even released in China. Yeah. They're, they're well, that's, probably, yeah. that's probably because of China. <laughs> probably yeah, because no, of China. Is, I mean, I don't know some. Yeah, some. They have very. There. They're very strict with any media coming in. They have to have specific. But then, but I don't see how this could be like. But, but it's not the first, in their favor it's the first this Marvel movie sick. that's not been. It's the first one that's not been greenlit by China. So maybe it's not Chinese China. enough. I mean, I, mean, I think that's I don't also know about how it could be Chinese the main. Enough. The main actor is not Chinese enough or something. Or maybe they said, they said. I don't know if it was a rumor that they said, um, <laughs> what's it, Aquafina who plays, uh, was it Katie in the movie, isn't good looking, but I, don't, I think that's just a rumor. I don't, I don't think that's the case. That's actually not cool oh, enough. That, or something. Is that the reason? Oh. That's a rumor. I don't know if that's God. actually the two reason. It just sounds too ridiculous. Um, I mean, that, I mean, I, can't, I won't be surprised if they said that though, because, oh, do it. I'm not even going into the whole China thing. But anyway, let's talk about let's what we liked. That. Let's talk about the things we liked uh, about the movie first of all. Okay, so I like the fact that one, it was hilarious. Yeah, it was like, so it was, funny. It wasn't hilarious in a slapstick way. It was hilarious in a really clever, subtle. Like we're not trying to make you laugh, really. Well, in most cases, there's one bit that I was like that was definitely planned, but it was really like it was really. It wasn't like because thing about like why I don't like sometimes my Marvel movies is that sometimes it's a bit too slapstick. Um, I had a similar similar uh, opinion about Suicide Squad 2 as well. I was like, it's I liked it, but I felt like some areas were like needlessly slapstick. Like you don't need to add that extra line. Like you don't need to do this little thing. Like very sort of like very textbook comedy, you know. Um, and I felt like they didn't really have they have they had a little bit of it, but very little. Like um, like you know the character. I won't say his name. The 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 one that's that really didn't seem like he fit in, <laughs> right? That character, um, like he did the slapsticky type comedy, and but it was just just him doing it, and it was just like very. But it really focused on him it really doing hit, it though. Like when he but did, yeah, and it hit mm. because you haven't been having that all the way through the movie. You you had like very more like in my head, he had very very more subtle. I didn't expect him to even fucking be there. Um, very sort of subtle like funny moments that happen. Like the bit on the bus. Oh my god, the bit on the bus. <laughs> I was dying. Mm. The bit on the yeah. bus I just That just bit is so yeah, it's ridiculous. Oh that bit is hilarious. <laughs> um and I think like and that was like I feel like really it fit into the moment and it made sense and it was relatable and it was just like, yeah, you can see someone actually doing this. Right. And and the reason was funny because because it was so relatable as in someone would actually do this if they saw this. Yeah. And then you get to that point with that guy and you haven't been hit with all the slapstick comedy and then he pulls up all the slapstick stuff and it's amusing and you, you know, it's, it's good. 
Um, the story in itself, I felt was, if I had to give the story out of 10, I'd probably give it like a seven. Um, I felt that the lead up to the, to the ending was good. Uh, and the way they resolved everything was fine. Uh, and I have questions about why they did what they did, but I accept it. I'm like, I don't know the character enough. I accept it. And then the post credit bit was just like, <laughs> like, what does this mean? So mm. it was just a very like, like I think a lot of people that when, when they watched Black Widow, they were like, they watched it and they felt they felt that there was it was almost pointless that they gained yeah. nothing from it, and it was just something that happens in the middle of we already know what happens, you know. So it almost feels like you watch the movie and you, you don't have anything to go away and think about like you do in, when you watch a Marvel movie, like watch a Marvel movie and you're like trying to figure out what it means. And in Black Widow, there was, there was nothing. And then you watch this and you're like, what is going on? Like, I, 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 I literally, I'm, I have no clue. I'm trying to think about where this could lead and I don't know. And that's the great thing about Marvel movies for me anyway. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Could, how about you, Demi? Like, what, what do you point, point out in terms of like the main things you liked about shang Um, I think the main thing I liked about it is that it's um it's just I just enjoyed it. It's a uh, it's, it's it's quite I use the word epic, like it's quite a, it felt quite epic watching it, and um it was because they're Dutch covering new ground. I mean they kind of I felt they touched on it with like Doctor Strange, the whole martial arts thing, but that was more hocus pocus kind of stuff. Um, whereas with this one, it was more like although I have my criticisms of it, um. Um, I felt like they paid enough homage to like martial arts films. So like, you know, the first half of the film felt a lot like a Jackie Chan film with, um, mm. with mm. him just like jumping from different platforms and all that kind of stuff. Um, and, but it still felt there was a lot of fantasy. There was a fantasy element to it that I didn't expect. I know like in the trailers, we've seen the 10 rings. The, that's the 10 rings, yeah. Not, yeah, that's not really like that's of course that's fantasy, but I didn't expect more than that, and um, I feel like it really kind of like they went out of their way to do something quite it's familiar, but it still felt quite new, and it's quite refreshing to see as well. Um, and the um, the characters had depth to them as well, a lot of depth to them. Like the main character, he's he's very he was very relatable in that the stuff that he's been through and it's like, okay, how would you, how would you react if you were, if you grew up like him? And, but then you have his friend that's just like, there's always this person that's kind of like, um, in a lot of these films, um, there's a guy that's really good at what they do. And then they have the sidekick, which is like, represents the, the audience. And I felt like, you know, his best friend, What's her, what's her name again? I can't remember. Her name. Katie Kafina. Uh, yeah, well, yeah playing Katie. Thing. She was very. She yeah. she he felt like she was like the doorway for the audience to be like, okay, this is how a normal person would respond to these to what's <laughs> um, what's what's happening. But you know, I can't say too much without going into spoiler t- territory. Mm-hmm. Um, I do have some criticisms of it, um, yeah, but no, I'll probably I mean, talk about in. that in the spoilers. Mm. Okay. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. In terms of positives, yeah, it was a really, it just felt like a throwback martial arts kung fu movie, you know, especially with the opening scene, you know, how you see uh, Shang Chi or Sean as it's, as it's called in the beginning, and mm. he's this kind of go lucky guy, and then you realize, oh, there's more to him that meets the eye. Even though the kung fu scenes were done well, the comedic scenes with Marvel, they tend to they tend to throw comedy in in places where. It shouldn't be. It should be very serious. Like I don't know, somebody's just died and they're just making a joke about it. Like, I just like <laughs> the, I didn't even like, understand Guardians that. Does um, that a lot. Guardians yeah. did that, and, I'm so, oh, and even in um, for Ragnarok, but I know it was an action comedy. It was very, very com- um, comedy heavy, so it's supposed to be like that. But it just felt a bit weird. Um, even in Endgame, they did that as well when Thor got his eye. So uh, okay, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bit weird. But yeah, they they kind of meshed it in well. And I like that they didn't force the whole, you know, the main, the, uh, the, the, in terms of the romance between the main character and the site, that didn't, 
it, there wasn't any. No, there is, is one. Yeah. Exactly, that's yeah. the point. There wasn't any, which is good because sometimes mm. you kind of feel, oh, like, why are they putting this whole romance it's not thing necessary. into it? You can tell that it doesn't seem like it was ever that, that was ever the case in the beginning. Why are you throwing it in now? Even though it might happen if there isn't, you know, subsequent movies or stuff, but at least in the first one, um, they didn't they didn't force that down our foot, which was cool. Mm. Um, other things. Yeah, main villain I liked. Really good main villain. Type 2 villain, which is cool. It seems like Marvel likes to do that all the time now. Sympathetic villain, uh, you know, <laughs> that kind of guy. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll, we won't go into spoilers in terms of other things, but yeah, I think the main villain was was really good, relatable. He had pretty good scenes as well when you kind of understand where he's coming from. So he doesn't seem like, oh yeah, he's just completely oh, like, you know, hate, hate me for no reason kind of thing. It's, it makes sense why he's, his motivations make sense. Um, yeah, all, all in all, man, it's a really good movie. I was very, very, you know, thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. In total, I probably give it like an eight out of ten mm. in total. Yeah, yeah, I th- yeah eight seven, and a half. Yeah, seven and a half. I think that's, half. that's fair. I think yeah. that's fair. Cool. That's fair. All right, so we've talked. We've waxed lyrical about this, like so. There's got to be some <laughs> negatives. <laughs> <laughs> it can't all be yeah. good. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, um. Okay, I'll, 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 we can go around again. So, things yeah. I didn't like about the movie, or things I would have liked to have, to have happened in the movie, more Kung Fu. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I felt like um, it got to a point... <laughs> it became where... Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, it was like, it was like, it was like the... the are, we, are we in spoiler territory still? Or, or are we uh, not? Let's, let's, let's try and do like spoiler free for now. We'll, we'll, we'll transition okay, okay, into okay. So, I would, yeah, I would have preferred, even though there was a decent amount of Kung Fu... I felt that there was a certain point where this could have done with, with more Kung Fu. Like, the, the more, like, pinnacle moments, I felt, were... I would have liked them to be more Kung Fu, and, but they were very heavy fantasy, which is fine. But, you know, based on what I was seeing, like, towards the start middle of the movie, I was like, oh, I want to see a really good Kung Fu fight to, like, end it off. But uh, second thing would be that... Um, so... The, the, my immersion was broke slightly, which I think Demi will probably say later. My immersion was broke slightly with some of the green screen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, so much green screen. Yeah, um, over there. Like, it wasn't bad. Even, even at the beginning. Ba- even at the beginning, I would say. Really? Yeah. I, I was but, fine at the beginning. Yeah, at the beginning, I was like, I could see it. Really? I could see it. Really? I could oh. see it. I could was really it see even it. the Ten Rings uh, effect? No, really? not really. No, no even before on the, that, the, even first, on the, the first scene, the bus scene. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, let's see. I wasn't that one. Like, really bad, but you could. It wasn't see, really it was bad, but you can tell um, it was like a it was green screen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I more noticed towards the end because there was a lot of it happening, and I was a bit like, yeah, okay, like it's not terrible by any means. Uh, I wouldn't have uh, gone in the route that they did, but it was a bit like oh, okay. Um, and the last thing that actually is that it? I think it might be it. You know. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. That's it. I wanted more kung fu. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. That's pretty much my criticism. Is that I felt like they missed an opportunity to show how what they can do without over relying on 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 the green screen. Um, there was so much green screen, so much, and that's one of my main criticisms of Marvel films is that green screen everything is green screen, and it's it's just like for moments that you don't need it. Um, like, I'm, I mean, I'm not the one that's jumping from bus to bus. I'm not going to jump from the, <laughs> and like, you know, I'm like, I'm not going to do that. So I can understand where they're going to use special effects, but I felt like it was just very obvious where they used it. Um, yeah. and I would have liked to see more kind of authentic, like martial arts, really. Mm. Um, the martial arts, Something fun, more but, like, I would have mm. liked to see them do more with the martial arts because I was expecting, even though I said it was like a homage to like Jackie Chan, like Jackie Chan does a lot of practical stuff. His best stuff is practical. So I feel like for them to, they should have used more practical effects um, and made use of like, I don't think, I don't think we got to see, um, I'm trying to be careful what I say, mm-hmm. but I don't think we got to see it and not like what my, I'm, I'm just the one spot anything, but like, well, I don't think we got to see enough use of like, Kung Fu. It's, it sounds very dumb. It sounds very weird to say from a Kung Fu film. Not enough Kung Fu. But, like, not you, enough, like, you real... You understand if you see it. Yeah. Like you watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. enough you real Kung it. Fu. 
like real martial mm. arts. Like, mm. yeah, I think that's that's that was I think that was my main criticism. Um, yes, I can't say any other criticism until we at the moment. At the moment, yeah. <laughs> at the moment, yeah. yeah. <laughs>